One of the people who helped set up this summit is Susan Thornton. She oversees the U.S. State Department's Bureau of East Asian and Pacific Affairs. She was with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson on his recent trip to Beijing, and she sat down this week with CGTN's Jessica Stone. What are Washington's expectations for this summit? What do you want to see come out of it? Um, well, I think that there are a lot of issues facing the two countries right now. Um, both on the side of sort of common challenges that we have to work on together. Uh, the threat of the North Korean nuclear and missile program comes to mind as one of the very prominent challenges in the Asia Pacific region that the U.S. and China need to be uh, working more closely together on and trying to confront more urgently, I think. Uh, you know, the other uh, area where we have a tremendous um, you know, kind of exchange and engagement is on the economic side, going all the way back, you know, many decades. But now we have, you know, $500 billion worth of two-way trade every year. So I think we really do need to uh, work hard to make sure that that trade is uh, something that's mutually beneficial and that is fair and balanced. And I think we'll be working on that issue as well. You talk about the DPRK, and of course, both Beijing and Washington have very different approaches on the Korean Peninsula. How much room do you think there is for cooperation on the Korean Peninsula? Well, I think there's definitely room for increased cooperation, and there's definitely room for China to do more. Um, you know, this is an issue that's become increasingly, as I say, you know, urgent as North Korea continues to test and launch missiles and continues to test nuclear weapons and improve its uh, programs. I think, um, you know, we'll be looking to see what more China will be willing to do to increase pressure on North Korea. Um, but I think, you know, this is really an issue that needs to be faced by the entire international community and that everybody needs to be contributing more to, but including especially, I think, China. One of the things that we had under the prior administration was a sort of framework for managing differences and, um, and working together in, in other areas. One of the mechanisms of that has been the dialogues, the strategic and economic dialogue. It seems as though that's going to continue, those types of dialogues. Yeah, I would expect that all kinds of different um, mechanisms will be put in place in order to continue that sort of high-level engagement. I think high-level engagement has been a standard feature of the U.S.-China relationship that has allowed us to keep us a sort of stable and um, uh, continuing progression in our relationship. And this is kind of the meeting at Mar-a-Lago, the first step in that sort of high-level engagement with this administration. But I think we'll have a, a framework of, of interaction and dialogue that will continue that kind of high-level engagement. The two leaders have had a couple of phone calls prior to this meeting, uh, which I'm told have gone very, very well. Um, one of them, of course, was to talk about the One China policy and the U.S. endorsing it. Do you expect that we'll hear that from the president at the summit? Well, I don't know what exactly they're going to talk about, but I could imagine that the issue of our One China policy and um, all of the history that's tied into that might come up. Um, I'm sure that he'll be ready to continue uh, to reaffirm that if it's necessary. Lastly, what, what is the best outcome for the U.S.-China relationship coming out of this summit? I mean, this is, this is a chance to really start the relationship yeah, really, off right. Right. I think that's exactly it. It's a chance to have the two presidents get to know one another, um, get to know one another's priorities, get their two high-level teams to, you know, know one another and start to have the conversation. I don't I mean, I don't expect that we'll solve anything overnight in Mar-a-Lago, although maybe, maybe so, you never know. But I think setting up that kind of future uh, tempo and uh, work pace to try to get those issues tackled and try to solve some problems going forward, that's what I hope for.